Hello guys, I'm Sammy from HackerBad.net and today I'm going to show you how to root your Android device and get it ready for cheating in any kind of game because most game cheats and hacks will require a rooted phone so that one application can access another and change some stuff around. So, um, just about rooting, a very short disclaimer, I promise I'm going to make it short. So. If you root your phone, if it's an actual phone or tablet, you can very well ruin the whole thing. You can brick it and it might be really hard to repair it or you might have to employ someone to do it, which might be very expensive. So, uh, here's how rooting works. Uh, by default, each of these little applications right here is isolated and only has its own little space on your phone that it is able to access stuff on. Um, which makes it really easy to keep everything secure and safe because uh, if something fails, you can just uninstall the app, everything's okay. However, when you root your Android device, what you're doing is basically you're turning it more into something like a Windows PC where every application is now able, if given the right permissions, to access the space of any other application and change stuff in it, which is really awesome if you're trying to cheat or do some other kind of stuff. However, it is dangerous because you can basically ruin your phone, okay? So I would recommend you do this on an emulator because, well, we are blessed with like literally dozens of emulators um, for Android, okay? Which is something that the iOS people don't have and you should definitely take advantage of that. So if you're doing this for the first time, if you're reading this, your phone for the first time, please get an emulator, download it onto your computer and just you know, play around with it until you're really, really uh, experienced and then you can actually do it with your actual device. Now, there are ways to reverse your rooting of your phone, but it's pretty difficult and I might make a tutorial on that later down the line. So, now let's get into it. Um, there are a lot of rooting apps and basically what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna find a rooting app and you're gonna wanna install it on your device, all right? preferably on your emulator. The one I'm going to use is King Root. Um, it's just something that's really popular in 2016. There are other rooting apps. I don't really care which one you're using. I'm using this one in particular. You can find it at kingroot.net at the moment. Um, but you know, times will change. The apps that are already used will change. Now, how do you install an APK file? Um, it's actually pretty easy. You can um, go if you're using your actual device there are dozens of installer apps, okay, APK installer, just just search for APK install or easy installer. Um, this one is, for example, one that will scan your SD card for APK files and allow you to install them, all right? There, there's dozens of them, so you shouldn't have any problem actually installing an, an APK file. You download it either right onto your phone or onto your computer and then you put it on your onto your SD card. However, just get the um, APK file for your rooting app onto your phone somehow, then install one of these installers and you'll be fine. You'll be able to install it. Now, in my emulator, the way I do this is I press this button right here and I can just go to King Root and I'm gonna install the latest version of that application. And there it is. So uh, basically that's, that's how rooting your phone works. So um, in this case, all I do is I open the King Root application and it will basically do everything for me. It will just root the phone. There you go. And there, there it goes. It'll take a few minutes. And root successful. That's basically that. Now, I will probably have to optimize some of the potential risks and, well, that's it, your phone is now rooted. Now what I would recommend now after every step is you may wanna restart your phone, okay? It's not technically something that you have to do, but I do recommend it because it does get rid of some risks. So I'm just gonna restart my Android plugin. And there we go, that's basically that. So now our phone is rooted, it's actually pretty easy. All you do is you get the APK file for a rooting app, you install the rooting app using an installer or using whatever, if you have an emulator, use the emulator functionality for that, and then you just start the app and root your phone. Now your phone is rooted. Now, the next thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna install 
a installer. Um, this is basically, this is important because, and I'm gonna use Lucky Patch right here, I'm just gonna install that. It's basically a software that allows you to install system apps. Now a system app is essentially an app that has administrator privileges which is uh, allowed to um, in, to access all other apps and have root privileges all right so it also allows you to do some other stuff like remove certain ads and certain certain apps and so on so um, I'm using lucky patcher you can just google lucky patcher and you'll find it um, it's the most popular in 2016 right now uh, that might change in the future just a a a, just look for an app maybe on Google um, app to install um, root privilege apps or uh, system apps and you'll find whatever is most popular in your age in your uh, whatever century <laughs> and that's basically that so I installed lucky patcher and I'm just gonna look for it there we go lucky patcher now um, we have to give this root privileges because this is our installer app and as you can see we can now uh, basically do anything we want we can uninstall apps and so on so what I'm gonna do right now is <clears throat> I'm gonna install uh, no I don't need, don't need your update I'm gonna install a system app now since we're gonna cheat uh, the, the the app that I'm gonna use is going to be um, Game Guardian which is a very simple cheating app for games so now what we're gonna do is we're going to install our cheating app in this case I'm gonna be using a app called Game Guardian which allows you to change values in games and we're gonna install it as a system app now this may depend on which patcher you're using which app you're using to install system apps but here in lucky patcher which is really popular in 2016 I go to rebuild and install and I basically look for the APK file. In my case, that's on the SD card. You would just put it on your SD card or download it or whatever you're doing with it. Uh, important is that you're actually installing it through your patcher and not through any other means, just normally installing it. That's important. You need to install it through your patcher because only your patcher uh, allows you to install it as a system app. So in my case, it's in this pictures folder and it's Game Guardian 8.5. There we go. And now install as a system app. Now that's important. If you're just uh, installing it as, as a normal app, it won't have root privileges. So that's a little problem. And again, I will be rebooting my phone or my device. And there we go. Now Game Guardian is installed. I can basically launch the app and I'm going to have to give it root privileges, allow. And that's basically that, allow. There we go. It now has root privileges. No, I don't want to uninstall it. I can start it. And as you can see, I can now access other apps and scan them for values, which is basically what a hack does, scanning for values and then changing those values, like this value. But I'm not actually gonna change it because it's not a game, so. <laughs> Anyways, so that's basically how that works. That's how you can install, how you can root your Android device and install apps that have system root privileges that are actually able to influence other apps, uh, which is very essential if you're trying to run hacking apps or anything that would allow you to gain a real advantage or uh, in a in a game it goes the same for bots and so on they need some access as well so i hope this has helped you obviously you still need the actual cheating app in order for this to work i mean just rooting your phone and having a patcher installed uh, will not do the job you still need your game and you still need your cheating app but those can be found very easily if you want to find some more cheats for your online and offline games on mobile pc or whatever you can visit us at hackerbot.net thanks to you guys for watching and i'll see you guys soon